Hello everyone, welcome back to Jom Sadila YouTube channel. Let's continue with our lesson for IGCSE Chemistry Chapter 7, which is Electrochemistry. And before further ado, let's look into our study outline. Our study outline comprises of electrolytes and non-electrolytes. Electrolysis, electrolysis and movement of iron. Chemical changes, the product of electrolysis, discussion, writing half equation, step in writing ionic equation, other electrolysis of molten compound, and what product are formed in aqua solution. Electrolytes and non electrolytes. A liquid is an electrolyte when it contains charged particles and when its charged particles are free to move to it. Both electrolytes are generally produced from ionic solid. When ionic solid is melted, the ions are free to move and then can carry an electric current. The melted ionic solid is an electrolyte. When an ionic solid is dissolved in water, the upper ions are free to move. This ion can carry to the electric current. Some molecular substances can also dissolve in water. They are electrolytes. So this is because they can carry electric current though. And generally, electrolytes is a molten salt such as molten B2 bromide, solution of acid in water such as aqua hydrochloric acid, or solution of alkalines in water such as aqua sodium hydrochloride. Electrolytes are compounds which do not electricity when solid, but do conduct when molten or dissolved in water. Electrolytes are made up of ions. When molten and dissolved in water, the ions are free to move. Non-electrolytes are substances that cannot conduct electricity. They cannot conduct electricity even in water or aqua state. Example: sulfur, wood, sugar, tetra, chloromethylene. Electrolysis. This is a sample diagram which is actually related to this our explanation. So as far as we already studied that, the combination of positive ion and negative ion is to form stable product. And the product can be in the form of atom, compound, or mixture. So example of product, stable atom. Atom, example Cu2 positive, plus two electron, is to form Cu. Cu is a stable product which is atom. An example of compound is H2O. H2O is a stable product but it's actually there is two hydrogen ions are required to stabilize one ion of oxygen which is consisting of two charge positive, two charge negative example. 2H positive plus O2 negative to form H2O. And finally, we have a mixture. Mixture, example mixture is CaCO2. And however, during the electrolysis, is whereby it's a process breakdown of the product, the stable product, by the electricity. So instead of we have reactant A plus reactant B to produce is a stable product, but now we are moving backwards. So this is called electrolysis. And electrolytes are aquas or molten substances that conduct electricity. Electrodes are any terminal by which an electric current goes in or comes out of a conducting substance. So material which do not react with electrolytes an electrode made of graphite or platinum. An electrolytic cell is an electric current or circuit with features positive and negative electrode clip in electrolyte. Positive electrode connected to positive terminal or battery. Negative electrode connected to negative terminal or battery. So cathode or electrode connected to negative terminal or battery and electric current flow out of cathode terminal. Electron current flow into terminal. Uh, cathode electrode is called negative electrode. 
an anode is electrode connected to positive terminal or battery. Electric current flow into terminal. Electron current flow out of the terminal. Anode is called positive electrode. Anions are negative ions. During electrolysis, anions attracted to anode positive electrode. Non-metal from anion. Example, F negative. C, C negative, Br negative, I negative, O2 negative, and C2 negative, and S2 negative. Caption a positive ion. Caption attracted to negative electrode. Cathode, which is metal form, caption. So, caption is, example of caption is an A positive, K positive, Li positive, PB2 positive, and Cu2 positive. Electrolysis and movement of iron. One electrode become positively charged anode when battery are connected to electrolytic cell. Cathode become negatively charged. So the iron in the liquid electrolytes move through solution. The iron with negative charge are attracted to positive, which is anode. And ion with positive charge, cation are attracted to negative electrode, this is cathode. So this diagram is actually show the movement of iron in electrolysis process. Chemical changes. No reactions can be seen in the middle of electrolytes when the beginning of electrolysis. Reactions only occur at the electrode. Cathode attract positive ion. Positive ion gain electron to form neutral atom. Negative ion lose electron to form neutral atom and anode. When what will happen during reaction? So you can see bubble of gas, change of pH, metals being de deposited. There are two main class of reaction: reaction of molten salt such as molten copper to chloride, reaction of aqueous solution such as solution sodium chloride. Molten salt. So the particles present are iron. Electrolysis can only take place when the salt is molten so that the iron separate from each other and free to move. Example given here is PBBr2 in a form of solid. So electrolysis PB2 positive in a form of liquid plus 2Br negative in a form of liquid. Aqua solution. Aqua solution of salt, when salt dissolves in water, they separate into the ions, which are free to move positive ion cation and negative ion onions are formed. Example given here is an ACL in a form of solid plus aquas and to form an a positive aquas plus Cl negative also in a form of aquas. Solution of acid, hydrogen ions and negative ions are form HCl in the form of gas so to form or electrolysis to H positive in the form of aquas plus Cl negative in the form of aquas. The product of electrolysis. When using unreactive graphite and platinum electrodes, metal hydrogens are formed at negative electrode cathode. Because iron moving to a negative electrode are positively charged, non metals other than hydrogen are formed at positive electrode anode. Because iron moving to a positive electrode are negatively charged. For molten compound, if metal with non metal, a binary compound, the cathode product is always the metal and anode product is always the non metal. You can see three, four column here electrolytes. On the left hand side, in the middle is a cathode product, and on the right is the anode product. So during the electrolytes of molten lead to bromide, you can see at the cathode is a lead and anode is bromide. Molten sodium iodide electrolyte. So at the cathode product is a sodium and anode product is iodine. Molten zinc chloride electrolytes. And the cathode product is a zinc and the anode product is the chlorine. And electrolyte of concentrated aqua sodium chloride. And the cathode product is hydrogen and the anode product is a chlorine. 
and concentrated hydrochloric acid electrolytes at the cathode product is hydrogen and the product is a chlorine and dilute sulfuric acid at the cathode product is hydrogen whereas at the end of product is the chlorine. Let's look into the discussion. Electrolytes are ionic compounds which are made of positive and negative ion. Free movement of positive and negative ion when ionic bonds are broken. This happens when ionic compounds melt or dissolve in water. When ionic compounds A, B melts or dissolve in water, it form positive ion which is A positive and negative ion is B negative. A, B melted and form A positive plus B negative. At the cathode negative, the positive ion attracted to negative electron. They take in electrons to become neutral elements. Example, A positive plus one electron to form A. A2 positive plus two electron to form A. And A N positive plus N, N E electron to form A. At the anode positive, the negative ion attracted to the positive electron. And metal ions attracted to positive electron. They give away electrons to form neutral elements. Writing half equation. Half equations are equations that contain ions and electrons. Ion react with copper sulfate to form copper and iron to sulfate. Fe solid plus CuSO4 aquas to form FeSO4 aquas plus CO. Cu in the form of solid. During the reactions, iron Fe take the place of copper Cu. So you can see from here changes on Fu and Cu equals to zero, and changes on copper iron in CuSO4. The equation is two plus Cu to positive, and changes on iron iron in FeSO4 equals to two plus Fe to positive. In this reaction, Fe becomes Fe2 positive because it lost two electrons during half equation. So half equation is Fe minus two electrons to form Fe2 positive. Or Fe is actually Fe2 positive plus two electrons. This is called half equation reaction. Copper iron or Cu2 positive has gained two electrons. Cu Two positive plus two electron to form Cu. So full equation is Fe plus Cu two positive to form Fe two positive plus Cu. Step in writing ionic compound. Consider the electrolysis of potassium iodide, which is Ki to form iodine at the anode. Iodine is a product, and iodide ions in Ki is the initial ions. Step 1. If you refer to periodic table, potassium iodide is K positive plus I negative to form KI. Okay. Step 2. In reality, when we want to break down KI, it will form only one ion. Iodine, which is transparent to us to see. So, that's why KI is actually K positive plus I Negative. Step 4. To make a C, it has to transform it in the form of gases. That's why I negative is actually to become I2. I2 is actually, there are two ions. There, there are two ions. And then to make the equation stable, 2 I negative, it becomes I2. I2 means that no charged ion. So to make it charged, that's why I2 has to plus with 2, with, with 2. So that's why now, current I2 no charge ion, therefore, need to balance the electron. That's why you can see 2 I negative is become I2 plus 2 electron. Okay, during at this stage, you can see there is no charge ion, it's only I2. So to make it charge, that's why we have to plus with two electron. Okay. And finally, in reality, there shall be an experiment to be conducted to confirm the reactant state of the iron. 
So, 2I negative in the form of nitrate and during the electrolysis is become I2 in a state of solid plus 2 electron. Let's look into other electrolysis of molten compound. Example, electrolysis of molten sodium chloride. So at the end node, you can see Cl2 gases evolve at the end node. And the end node, you can see is a chloride. And the equation is 2Cl negative in a form of liquid to form Cl2 is a gas plus 2 electron. And at the cathode is actually a sodium and whereby Na deposited at the cathode. So you have the equation Na positive in a form of liquid and plus one electron and to form Na, which is a sodium in the form of solid. And other electrolysis of molten compound lead to oxide, where we have at the end of positive is oxygen, and oxygen to negative gas evolve at the end of, and the electron is released. So you can see the equation is O2 negative in the form of liquid, and to produce O2, gas plus two electron. And at the cathode, actually, is a plumber, and plumber to be aquas gain electron at the cathode and become PB solid atom. So you have the equation of PB2 positive in the form of aqua plus two electron and become PB in the form of solid PB atom. And the other electrolysis of molten uh, compounds copper to bromide where Br2 gases evolve at the anode and at the anode is actually the bromide and the equation is 2Br negative in the form of liquid and produce Br2 in the form of gases plus 2 electron. And at the cathode is a copper and stable copper CU solid is deposited at the cathode. And the equations for the copper to bromide is CU2 positive in the form of liquid plus 2 electron to form CU in the form of solid. And what products are formed in aqua solution? Molten lead iodide only contains lead ions as cation and iodide ions as anion. Aqua solution of ionic compound, they are formed by dissolving ionic compound in water. Water deassociate to form hydrogen, ions and hydroxide ion. So you have H2O in the form of liquid and we have H positive liquid plus OH negative liquid. Water form two types of iron. Ionic compound also form two types of iron. Sodium chloride. Sodium chloride and ACL in the form of aqua, which is an A positive aqua plus CL negative aqua. There are four types of ions in aqua sodium solution or sodium chloride. They are H positive liquid, OH negative liquid, and A positive aquas and CL negative is aqua. During electrolysis, only one type of cation or anion is discharged, which is converted to atom. Ions lower in the reactivity series are discharged in preference to the one above them. So you can see from this diagram, which is on the top is the higher reactivity and which is on the lower side is a lower reactivity. If Cu2 positive and H positive ions are present, Cu2 positive ions are discharged at the cathode because they are lower in the reactivity series. The aqua solution and anions are arranged in order of ease of discharge. If you can see, the highest would be SO4 to negative and the lowest reactivity is I negative. All the positive ions go to cathode in aqua sodium chloride solution, which is anti positive and hydrogen ion is H positive. Chlorine ion CN negative and hydroxide ion OH negative go to anode. So graphite or platinum electrodes do not take part in chemical reaction. A reactive anode like copper anode dipping into aqueous copper sulfate does take part in reaction and lose electron. With that being said, I would like to wish you all the best in your study and hope you are clear with this presentation.
of the subject matter. So you can get the details and customized note by clicking Zoom Study Lab Instagram link. And last but not least, please press the thumbs up like button, subscribe to Zoom Study Lab YouTube channel, and follow me at Zoom Study Lab Instagram. Thank you very much.